Hello and welcome to this introduction video to the Phytopath website. My name is Elder Pedro. I'm a bioinformatician working at the European Bioinformatics Institute. Phytopath is an integrative resource for genomic data of plant pathogens, focused mostly on fungi and proteins, but also including bacteria. It integrates phenotypic data from Phybase, a database that catalogs experimentally verified pathogenicity, virulence and effector genes from fungal, or mycet and bacterial pathogens. The Phytopath website is accessible at www.phytopathdb.org. It functions as an entry portal to the plant pathogen resource, available in ensemble genomes. It has a very useful advanced search feature that allows the user to query for genes across all the fungi and protease plant pathogens, available in ensemble genomes. This is the main page of the website that shows information about resource and what the latest release includes. You can also see announcements for training events. If you want to see all the available pathogens on Phytopath, you can click on the Pathogens tab. Uh, and from here you can see a short description for each pathogen, for instance for Botrytis cinerea. And from here you can browse the genome on Ensemble Genomes, clicking on these links here in the bottom. So the Advanced Search tab is where you can perform complex queries on pathogenic study genes. I'm going to give you a few examples on how to perform these queries. In the first time you land at the advanced search page, you see a query builder that consists of two panels, the organisms and the filter. The organisms panel displays a selectable phylogenetic tree of the plant pathogens available to query. You can search across clades using the box in the top, for instance, Basidia myset. In this way, you can select an, in, an entire clade or a single species. The fetal filter panel selects genes based on Go annotation, gene names, protein domains, and a subset of, of the Phi-based data, like, for instance, experimental condition, phenotype, or host. For our first example, let's say I want to retrieve all Phi-based annotations on the Basidiomycota clade. So we just need to select that on the phylogenetic tree. Uh, and in the filters panel, we just choose all genes with five base annotation. You can submit this form. And the resulting table shows the five base IDs, the gene names, descriptions, host, phenotype, and condition for that annotation. If you want to see more information, you Click on Show Add Columns, where you can get Go Data or in the Pro, as you can see here, and also Protein Domains. So the queries are stored in your current session. You can see all the queries you performed in this session in the Query Management tab. You can also revise your query or export results in various formats, including sequence FASTA files. Now let's do a second query, clicking on the new query link on the top. Let's say we want to retrieve all genes with kinase activity for all the Fusarium species. You can see that we have six Fusarium species you can query. In this, in this time you go for go term name and type kinase and select activity and submit again. So we can see that we have uh, 1,963 genes with kinase activity uh, for the Fusarium 
with the species. Now let's revise our query and add a second file filter. So we click on revise. And now let's just uh, query for genes with kinase activity, but also that have a phi base annotation. So submit again. So this reduces the number of genes to 929. So all genes with kinase activity that are annotated on Firebase. Now imagine that you want to retrieve all the asked commit got genes tested in Apple, Apple and Pure. In this case, we can apply several filters to get this set. We need to join two different queries, one for Apple and another one for Pure. I'm just going to perform both queries. So new query. Ask commit got you can go here to host and select Apple and submit. And I'll do the same thing but for the other hosts that is peer. Disappear. So we just perform both queries and we need to both queries uh, together. So we just go to query management, click on the last set, like, latest two queries we performed and join them. And we have uh, all the genes uh, that were tested in Pure and Apple together. Now, if you want to get, for instance, the protein sequences, we can just click on Faster Proteins, and it will create a file, a Faster file, with all the protein sequences for these genes. The link will appear in the faster download column on the query management system and you can download the file to your computer. Hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial to the Phytopath website Advanced Search. Cheers!